This video shows how we use a non-contact tachometer to test the RPMs of a used centrifuge. The machine is a Tolhurst 40 inch by 24 inch basket centrifuge. Think of a large washing machine stuck on the spin cycle. The 40 inch diameter by 24 inch deep basket is perforated just like in a washing machine. The material in the centrifuge is dried or separated by spinning off the unwanted material just like the water is expelled through the holes in the washing machine, leaving the desired product in the basket. This unit is made of Hastelloy C276, which is a corrosion-resistant alloy metal. It will not rust or degrade even when the liquid is very corrosive. This machine is driven by a 40 horsepower XP explosion-proof three-phase 60-cycle motor. It's designed to run at a rated speed of 1180 RPMs. One of the steps in testing the proper operation of a centrifuge is to see how fast the spindle is turning the basket. No adjustments need be made if it's running a little too slow or a little too fast. However, a significant difference from rated speed might indicate a problem. Also, with a used centrifuge, if it's running very slow or very fast, it may indicate a prior field change in the unit. A non-contact tachometer is used to test the speed. A small strip of reflective tape is attached to the basket. Light reflected from the tape is read as a flash of light by the tachometer each time the tape passes underneath the tachometer gun, once per rotation. As you can see in this video, the reading is just over 1200 RPM, which is close enough to the rated speed to pass the test. Thanks for watching this video, and if you'd like more information about this piece of equipment, please visit this link or call us at 609-267-1600.